people of the paranormal community, I bring you some shocking and major news of an international security breach. Apparently, the developer of Spirit Talker has somehow managed to bypass the major security systems of Apple's iOS operating system and Google's Android operating system and is able to secretly listen to you through the microphone of your phone or tablet without even asking the permission. Really? Come on, people. I might be okay or good at programming, but seriously, I am not that good that I could hack iOS and Android. Seriously, please, come on. Let me show you something. A few weeks ago, a paranormal group used ChatGPT to write an article about ghost apps. The Facebook page or group shared it to lots of other paranormal groups, and it's been viewed by probably a fair few hundred people. Whilst I'm here, I just want to thank the people that were actually sticking up for me in the comments on this Facebook post. I really appreciate you. It hasn't gone unnoticed. Thank you very, very much. I want to point out this particular line. It is essential to recognise that these applications utilise algorithms to listen to users' voices and respond to specific keywords associated with their questions. The responses provided by these apps are generated by voice recognition algorithms, not actual spirit communication. So I wrote an article on my website explaining about microphones and GPS and all of that stuff without actually having the microphone permission granted by the user of the phone. An app, any app, cannot access the microphone. The same for GPS, the camera, messages and all of that stuff. It just, an app just can't do that. And I'm going to explain to you how and why it cannot do that. So I'm going to talk about iPhone and then I'll talk about Android. And then I'll show you what happened with Android a fair few years ago. And I'll also show you what it looks like inside my Google developer account when I upload an app and the testing that it gets put through by Google in order to be released. When you upload an app to Apple's App Store or to Google's Play Store, it doesn't just instantly become available to the public. It goes through very, very rigorous testing on Apple it could take a day, it could take several weeks. Every single app that is uploaded to the Apple App Store is tested vigorously by an actual person. On Google, it's slightly different. It goes through lots of vigorous testing, which is automated. And then if there's any problems that occur, a human will test it, okay? It has to pass lots of tests before it then gets released to the public, which could take days, could take weeks, okay? Right, let's look at Apple. So if you've got an iPhone, click on settings, scroll down until you see privacy and click on that. Scroll down again until you see microphone and click on it. In here are all of the apps that have access to your microphone. If an app is not present in this list, there is absolutely no way whatsoever an app can access the microphone. Apple's iOS operating system just doesn't allow it. It can't be done. There's no workaround or hack or third party plugin that enables you to use the microphone if you haven't asked for the permission. It just can't be done. Simple as that. So try it. Open it up yourself and have a look at what apps do have access to your microphone. Not just your favourite ghost hunting apps, all of the apps. In there you'll probably see quite a big list of apps that do access your microphone. Like I said, if the app isn't in the list, it cannot access that particular piece of hardware. The operating system doesn't allow it. And even if it does access the microphone, you can simply flick that toggle and it will stop the access for that app. Okay, so we've just seen Apple. Hopefully you've tried that out. Let's do Android now. It's very similar. Click on settings, scroll down till you see privacy and click on privacy. Scroll down till you see app permissions and click on that. Scroll down again until you see microphone and click on that. And again, in here is a list of all of the apps that have access to your microphone. If an app isn't shown in here, then there is no way the Android operating system allows you to access the microphone. Again, there's no workaround for this. The operating system simply does not allow you to access it. And the same goes for the GPS sensor, the camera, Anything basically that's in this privacy section, if an app hasn't asked for that permission and been granted that by the user, it can't access it. It's as simple as that. So try it yourself on Android if you've got an Android phone. Open up the settings and go all the way through to the app permissions and click on microphone 
and see which of your favorite apps, not just your favorite ghost hunting apps, but just apps in general and see which ones actually have permission to access the microphone. And again, if you don't want them to have permission to the microphone, just flick that toggle and the operating system will block that app from accessing the microphone. Okay, so I'm gonna use Android as a bit of an example. So Android 12 was released several years ago and it was a huge security update basically to Android. It's actually version 19 of Android and put, to put that in perspective, it's now on version 33. And it says here, look, Android 12 delivers even more personal, safe and effortless experiences on your device, featuring a totally reimagined UI just for you. New privacy features that are designed for your safety and put you in control and more seamless ways to get straight to your gameplay or even switch to a new device. So if we scroll down, blah, blah, blah. I'll, put, I'll drop a link to this page in the description so you can have a read of it yourself. Okay, here it says, private by design so that you're in control. Android 12 is designed for your safety with new easy to use, powerful privacy features. You'll have peace of mind knowing that you have control over who can see your data and when. And the first section that it talks about is the microphone and camera access controls. With Android 12, you can see when an app is using your microphone or camera thanks to a new indicator in your phone's status bar. And if you don't want any apps to access your microphone or camera, you can completely disable those sensors using two new toggles in quick settings. Simply flip the switch. And like I said before, if an app does not appear in that list, then it does not have any permission. It cannot access the microphone at all. And if anything, does access the microphone, the operating system alerts you with a coloured dot at the top of your phone. The page then goes on and talks about GPS, uh, your location, keeping that private, etc, etc. It then goes on to talk about a completely different section within your phone that is purely designed for all of this security. And it, it's the same on Apple. Apple has the exact same features. Okay. You know what, I want to show you this little dot when the microphone gets accessed. Um, who shall I call? Okay, I'm now going to show you what it looks like inside my Google Developer account after I upload an app to be released on the App Store. So Apple is slightly different, like I said, it is all done by a person that tests the app before it gets released to the public. On Google it's automated and I'm going to show you a little bit of that right now. Okay, so here we have the pre-launch report and in details you can see all of the phones that the app was tested on. So there is seven phones here and that is in the stability along the top. On the next tab is performance and it was tested on four different phones there for performance. We then have accessibility not really much in there to show you but that then we have screenshots so here it takes screenshots of the app um, this isn't screenshots of all of the testing it does they're just snapshots as it's going through the testing phases on, on the different devices or phones and then there's a very important tab here called security and trust and in here if it finds anything that it thinks is out of the ordinary or that is going to put you at risk it will flag it here I know it says I know it says not all tests will be identified, but it 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 pretty much finds everything, um, especially when it comes to permissions and data safety, which is done to purely to protect you, the user. Now, one of the things that it flagged up for me in one of my other apps, you could download a zip file which contained skins for my EVP recorder. At the time, I was messing around with zip files and encryption, and I wrote my own unzipping method to unzip this zip file. After I'd uploaded it to the Google Play Store, it got flagged in this particular point and it said, no, you can't use your own unzipping method. You have to use the built-in unzipping tool of Android. So yeah, that's about that. Like I said at the beginning, I might be okay or good at programming, but seriously, I am not that good to work around the security systems put in place by two of the biggest tech and software companies in the world, Apple and Google. Thanks.